Big in sexual harassment lawsuits against a company with offices in Warren County, but they have not been able to collect. As K KCCI investigative reporter Alex Schumann explains, they are back in court again, claiming the company is trying to avoid paying out millions of dollars. I felt hopeless because it didn't matter what I would say to him. In 2010, Tammy Ackleson sued her employer Manly Toy Direct after she says her supervisor regularly sexually harassed her and four other employees. They were touching people. They would rub our backs. It just got worse and worse and worse. Ackleson sold Bonsai Water Toys, a trademark of Manly Toy, while working at a call center in this Indianola building. Court documents show she and the four women won their case in Iowa court against the Chinese-based toy company. Ackleson alone got awarded $662,000, which her attorney says with interest is now worth almost a million. However, when they went to collect, the companies she sued, Manly Toy and Toy Network Limited, claimed to no longer exist in the United States. Every time they get sued, they go and change their names or they try to hide their their money. KCCI has come across state and federal lawsuits claiming all these different company names are connected to Manly Toy. If you're confused, then attorney Stephen Weisbrod says their tactic is working. Several companies in Hong Kong, in California, and in Iowa have established a criminal enterprise to evade U.S. judgments and U.S. laws. Ackleson's attorney Bruce Johnson says the company moved from its Indianola building, changing their name right after the first judgment. They're there doing business, same general manager, same employees, same building, 700 New York Avenue, Des Moines, only now they're MGS International LLC. We went to try to talk with someone from MGS International. We learned they already moved, but the building's owner gave us these photos from when MGS International was using the building. Manly Toy claimed in federal court filings they had never done business here, but in the upper right of this photo, you can spot a box with their logo. We then went to MGS International's forwarding address, this time in the East Village. A couple of employees came out but did not want to do an interview. They remembered Ackleson's lawsuit against the company, but say the company she sued no longer exists. They are now called Toy Box. While we were there, a semi arrived, took the time to back into place and open the door, but then after about 15 minutes, drove away without loading or unloading anything. A couple of hours later, a FedEx truck arrived, and we spotted those same Bonsai water toys sold by the previous companies. They just shut down one business, open up another business and another name, and just keep selling the products. They don't care. Ackleson is not alone. A larger lawsuit is now targeting the people who allegedly own all these different companies. Basically what they're doing is they are constantly changing names, uh, using different corporate shells to sell the exact same products. Manly Toys attorneys have claimed in federal court filings to have no connection to these new businesses. A company called ToyQuest filed their own lawsuit in Hong Kong, claiming they are not an alter ego for Manly Toy or Toy Network and have never had anything to do with Ackleson and her co-workers. And I'm tired of reliving it. I'm tired of having to relive it. Ackleson is not sure if she will ever see any money. Weisbrod says one company executive told him after a deposition that the company will never pay. And he said, look, you're never going to catch us. You're never going to be able to collect uh, our assets. The guys in Hong Kong are always going to stay one step ahead of you. Now we reached out to the companies and attorneys connected to the people listed in these multiple lawsuits. After two weeks, we have not heard back. Stephen Stacy.